With all values finalized, you can continue with the tax rate setting process. In order to finalize the tax rate, we must calculate the tax levy limit. The levy limit worksheet is the vehicle used to calculate the levy limit. Let's take a moment to define several factors that affect the levy limit worksheet. A community is able to increase its levy limit each year to reflect new growth in the tax base. Assessors are required to submit information on growth in the tax base for approval by the Bureau of Local Assessment as part of the tax rate setting process. New growth under this provision includes properties that have increased in assessed valuation since the prior year because of development or other changes, exempt real property returned to the tax roll, new personal property, and new subdivision parcels in condominium conversions. A debt exclusion is an action taken by a community through a binding referendum vote to raise the funds necessary to pay debt service costs for a particular project from the property tax levy, but outside the limits of Pro Proposition 2.5 for the life of the debt. An override is a permanent increase to the levy limit that also requires a binding referendum approval. Remember what was discussed in our module on Proposition 2.5? Proposition 2.5 establishes the maximum amount a community can levy in property taxes each year by stating that the tax levy cannot exceed 2.5% of the total full and fair cash value of all taxable real and personal property, which we will refer to as the levy ceiling. The tax levy limit can increase from year to year by 2.5% of the previous fiscal year's levy limit. Additionally, a community must have a balanced budget applying revenue from property taxation that is less than or equal to the maximum allowable levy. This is an example of a levy limit worksheet used by local officials for budget planning purposes. Note that there are three sections. Section 1 calculates the levy limit for the prior fiscal year. Section 2 calculates the levy limit for the current fiscal year and Section 3 calculates the maximum allowable levy for the current fiscal year. Let's look at each section more closely. Line 1A of Section 1 is an amount carried forward from the prior fiscal year's levy limit form. This amount, $28,517,123, does not include any debt or capital expenditure exclusion or any other component used in the calculation of the maximum allowable levy from two fiscal years ago. You will learn more about the maximum allowable levy in Section 3 of this form. It is important to understand the base dollar amount to properly calculate the current fiscal year's levy limit. In this example, last fiscal year's subtotal of $29,589,263 was less than last fiscal year's levy ceiling of $90,478,957. Therefore, the calculation continues with the lower amount of 1E or 1F carried forward to Section 2. To calculate the current fiscal year's levy limit, Section 2 takes the lesser of 1A or 1B from Section 1 in the previous slide and adds 2.5%, $739,732, as allowed by Proposition 2.5. To this added new growth credit, calculated as $319,085. New growth must be certified by the Bureau of Local Assessment from Form LA-13. An override amount is added to Line 1D if applicable. In this example, these numbers subtotal to $30,648,080 in the current fiscal year's levy ceiling is $95,000,000 $498,093. Remember, the levy ceiling is 2.5% of the assessed full and fair cash value of all real and personal property. The calculation continues by taking the lower of 2E or 2F into Section 3. Section 3 of the Levy Limit Worksheet calculates the current fiscal year's maximum allowable levy, which begins with the lesser of 2E or 2F from Section 2. This amount, $30,648,080, is further increased by a debt exclusion in the amount of $1,462,481. Also added in this section is any capital expenditure exclusion 
Line 3C, which is similar to a debt exclusion, except that it is applicable for only one fiscal year. Other components of the maximum allowable levy are added in this section if applicable. The total of this section on line 3G, $32,110,561, is the maximum allowable levy for the community. In this example, the community's tax levy, which appears on the tax rate recap, cannot be greater than $32,110,561. It is important to note here that next fiscal year's levy limit calculation will begin with the lesser of 2E or 2F, which in this example is $30,648,080. Let's review what we have learned from this lesson. The levy limit worksheet is the vehicle used to calculate the levy limit. A community is able to increase its levy limit each year by factors such as new growth in the tax base, a debt exclusion, or an override. Proposition 2.5 establishes the maximum amount a community can levy in real and personal property taxes each year.